Hi, this is Kat, and you're watching Triple Threat Sports. Good evening. Here we are. It's August 29th at about uh, sometime in night. And this week, as Met fans, we had a tough week. We discovered that our ace pitcher, our young phenom, our pitcher having a breakout all-time great season, Matt Harvey, is most likely, not definitely, but most likely going under the knife for Tommy John surgery, which, if that happens, he will miss the entire 2014 season, the rest of this season, and also all of next season. Now, there's a chance that rehab, a little exercise and rest, and he might avoid the surgery, in which case he'll pitch next year, but he'll be on the, he'll pitch with a partially torn ligament in his elbow, which is risky. Which may, lead to, which may lead to him surgery anyway. There was a prospect, uh, Dylan Bundy of the Orioles, who tried this. And Dylan Bundy was maybe the top prospect uh, in, in baseball, pitching prospect in baseball. And he was in the same situation as Harvey is now, and he decided to try to pitch through it, and he ended up tearing it anyway, and he has to have Tommy John. So there's a good chance that Harvey's going to miss all of next year. A tough blow for us Mets fans. Now, how do we respond to this tragedy? Well, first I think I have to repeat something I said in a previous podcast. New York Mets are not cursed. There was no dark cloud hanging over them. There was no demonic entity that's causing them problems. Management did not mishandle Matt Harvey. It happens. In fact, about one third of pitchers pitching in the major leagues today have had Tommy John surgery. And the recovery time is... 100%. Recovery is 100%. And Justin Verlander has had it. He's, you know, potentially a Hall of Famer. Steven Strasburg more recently had it, and he's come back to form. So Harvey's career is not, not over. We could expect him back. He's only 24 years old. So let's keep that perspective. Now, as far as the rest of the team goes, Obviously, as Mets fans, realistic Mets fans know, the last few years they've spent time, the new front office came in in 2011, before the 2011 season. They've been, <clears throat> they've been rebuilding the farm system on one hand. They traded Beltran for Zach Wheeler, good trade. They traded R.A. Dickey, in a great trade for the Mets, it turns out, for, Zach, for uh, Noah Syndergaard, who's a prospect in AA, who's lighting it up. Travis Darno, their future all-star catcher. John Buck contributed this year, and they just, they just turned John Buck and Marlon Bird into two more prospects that they got from the Pirates. So the team has widely built, we built this farm system into a viable talent pipeline, which it wasn't for a long time. Before this front office came over, the farm system was pretty barren. Now it's pipeline. But at the same time as that was happening, the ownership, of course, dealt with the Madoff scandal and its aftermath. Their assets were frozen. So the Mets haven't been, as they were, well, we're building the farm system, system, obviously they have not been able to sign free agents to uh, fill the major league team while the farm system, as the farm system is developing before it delivers. Now this offseason they have the, finally the Jason Bay contract will be off the books. The Johan Santana contract will be off the books. So they figure they have about $40 million to spend. Maybe they want to keep some of it for themselves and pay down some of the debt they have. They, they have still have some debt, for sure. But they will have money to spend. So there was even... The point being, despite the Harvey, Harvey injury, there's no reason for them, for them to punt another season next year. They've been kind of punting the last few seasons away, rebuilding, 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 punting the seasons away in that regard. 2014 was the season the Mets fans in recent years have pointed to as saying this is the year the Mets are going to return to contention or they, they should return to contention and there's no reason now that, that can't be the case so while we we mourn Harvey and we we wish him a speedy recovery and we really want to see him back on the mound pitching for the Mets let's not forget we still have Wheeler we still have Nice who's been pitching very well lately Dylan G's having a good year. 
We have Montero, Rafael Montero in AAA. He's ready to come up to compete next spring for a job. We have pitching depth. We still have Syndergaard, I mentioned before. He'll, next year, he'll be in AAA. And maybe the second half of next year, maybe he could be up in the majors. We'll see. The point is, let's not lose hope. Let's keep perspective. And let's remember what I said last time in the other podcast, too. It's about organizational depth. It's not about looking for saviors. Matt Harvey is a great pitcher. He's having a great year. He's only a rookie, pretty much. But he's not a savior. We don't need saviors. We need good organizations. Now, on that note, my next podcast will talk about ways that the Mets could go forward next year and be a competitive team and continue to build a winning organization.